Only Richard Guest, two Comanche Court, Ruby Walsh, three Ad Hoc, Norman Williamson, four Bayrajan, Mark Bradburn. Number five is What's Up Boys, Paul Flynn in the saddle. Six Hindiana, Dean Gallagher. Seven Frantic Tan, Tom Jenks. Number eight, Hattie Roy, Andrew Thornton. Nine is Take Control, Tony McCoy, wearing those familiar blue, green and white colours again. Number 10 is Bindery, Carl Llewellyn. 11, Jocks Cross, Tom Scudamore claiming the three. 12 is Streamstown, Adrian Maguire. 13, Monty Foe, Timmy Murphy. And 14, Grey Abbey, Brian Harding. All 14 go in the Hennessy of 2001. And here's a full show of betting. Monty Foe, as he's been since the anti-post market, really took shape after its win at Wynn Canton as the three to one favorite with take control at nine to two. Ad hoc is six to one with Berajan at eight. Great Abbey is 12 to one with Streamstown also at 12s. What's up, boy is 14s. Comanche Court for Ireland at 14s. Hattie Roy is 16s and it's 20 to one bar. Well, this Monty Foe has been an uneasy favorite. But Orders and they're racing. They jump a total of 21 fences in this uh, feature handicap chase and Grey Abbey as expected goes on as they come to the first now from Frantic Tan up on the outside. Monty Foe the favourite jumped it in third followed by Bindery and just behind them is What's Up Boys. Half a length the Jocks Cross followed further back in the field by Bayrajan as they come to the first of the ditches. Further back in the field then is Take Control who settles on the inside of Hattie Roy. They're a length or so in advance of Comanche Court in the early stages followed then by Jocks Cross who lost a couple of places as they come now to the third and Grey Abbey's gone the favorite has hit the top of that uh, I should say the uh, leader has hit the top of that and has come to grief Brian Harding absolutely disgusted they're both up on their feet heading now to the fourth and Monty Foe the favorite is left in front here a long way from home about three lengths in front now of uh, Frantic Tan up on the outside of Bindari there are a couple of lengths to Bayrajan as they sort themselves out and run along now towards the fifth fence a plain one down the back of the uh, course now Monty Foe out in front and I don't think he'd want to be there that early but they've uh, cleared that well. So it's Monty Foe by two lengths to in second Bindari. There's the loose horse Grey Abbey up on the outside now coming over to join the main body of the field. Frantic Tan in third a couple of lengths to What's Up Boys. Followed further back then by Bayrajan as they turn sharply left handed now and head along the top of the course. Behind Bayrajan at this stage is Hattie Roy as we change camera angle now and head uh, towards this cross fence. Hindiana well back in the field giving them an enormous start as they head now towards fence number six. Montefo the first to rise lands over a couple clear and uh, got over that one okay. So Montefo is the leader as they come around the home turn Bindari up in a very prominent position as well and also Frantic Tan is there from What's Up Boys they're followed just behind them by uh, over on the far side Bayrajan then What's Up Boys further back in the field then is Hattie Roy well back in the field streams town and company with comanche court as they come now to fence number seven monty foe the first one to rise there take control well back in the field didn't jump that at all well ad hoc as well out the back so too as jocks cross and hindiana heading up now towards this open ditch which is number eight and the leader Montefo by a couple of lengths to in second Frantic Tan who's well up very handy from Bindari and just behind them what's up boys. Bayrajan is next in the field from Hattie Roy and further back in the field then is Streamstown as they head over that one giving them a fair start. Lord Noly is out the back there as well with at this stage Hindiana and uh, they're followed then by Ad Hoc and Jocks Cross from Comanche Court take control as they head now to the 10th. Montefo led over it by three or four lengths. So it's Montefo who's clear as they head up now to the judge with uh, just over a circuit to go in the 2001 Hennessy. It's Montefo by three or four lengths to What's Up Boys. Two lengths away then in third. Tucked away on the inside as they head over that is Frantic Tan from Bayrajan and they're followed by Lord Noli. Then Indiana the outside, followed in the centre by Ad Hoc and then Take Control, who's trying to take closer order on the inside of horses now. They're followed back in the field by Hattie Roy as they swing left-handed and race into the back now, almost back where they started. 
and so the leader is Monty Foe. He's going to have to make nearly every yard of the running here. He leads by a good four or five lengths as they head to the first one down the back. It's Monty Foe by four lengths to What's Up Boys. They're followed by Bay Rajana, mighty leap at that to jump up third from Lord Noli and Frantic Tan. They're followed by Ad Hawken on the inside, Hattie Roy from Comanche Court, followed further, further back by Bindari. Then in the centre, take control, who didn't jump that at all well. Hindiana out wide from Jocks Cross and Streamstown is last of those still remaining in the race. Heading to the middle one down the back. Montefo has gone five in front and got very close to that. Landed over it safely though from What's Up Boys and Bay Rajan and behind them is Lord Noli. They're followed next by Ad Hoc and Comanche Court. Hattie Roy the inside as they go to the second last one down the back. And jumping it still in the lead is Montefo. Montefo by a good four or five lengths to in second Bay Rajan as they head now towards fence number 16 in the Hennessy. Montefo, the favourite, out in front, jumps that well from What's Up Boys, Bay Rajan and Ad Hoc is now coming into it. Followed further back in the field then by Lord Noli, the outside. Take Control is in behind them. They're followed by Comanche Court. Streamstown is coming there as well from Hindiana. Plenty in with a chance here, but they've got to catch the leader. It's Montefo by three lengths to What's Up Boys as they leave the back now. They've got five fences left to jump, a long run before five out. Montefo in front front of What's Up Boys. Behind them is Lord Noli. Followed next by Take Control. Bay Rajan on the inside. And Ad Hoc is coming there as well as they jump five out. They've kicked away from Streams Down who didn't jump it well. What's Up Boys has now moved up to Montefo as they come towards the turn. Only a half length in it. Ad Hoc is just behind them. Followed by Take Control and Lord Noli is, is running on fairly well. Frantic Tan has pulled up at the back of the field. Straightening up with four left to jump. Montefo the far side from What's Up Boys. Lord Noli is running a big race. Followed then by Ad Hoc and behind them as Take Control as they jump four out. Take Control has moved up now on the near side as got a second win for Tony McCoy. From What's Up Boys just behind them is Lord Noli and Bay Rajan as they come to the last ditch. Take Control got too close but landed in front. From What's Up Boys here's Bay Rajan. Lord Noli behind them followed by Ad Hoc as they race up now with two left to jump, take control the far side, being tackled now by Bayrajan. Behind them is What's Up Boys from Lord Noli. They've got one left to jump in the Hennessy. On the near side, Bayrajan digging deep. He's gone to the front now from take control. What's Up Boys though, the danger to the pair of them. At the last out, Bayrajan lands over in the lead. Take control and also What's Up Boys giving chase now. They're on the run in for home. A hundred yards left to go. Bayrajan in front, take control coming back Bayrajan though holding on with 100 yards to go What's Up Boys is flashing home might beat the ball Bayrajan grabbed by What's Up Boys he's got up What's Up Boys from Bayrajan just behind them take control from Lord Noli further back in the field then Bindari from streams down ad hoc Hattie Roy they're followed by Comanche Court Hindiana and Jocks Cross is the last to complete the course well, Monty Foe has been pulled up and so too Frantic Tan. What's up, boys, though, has got up in the, in the dying strides. Number five, What's Up, boys? Owned by RJB Partners, trained by Philip Hobbs and ridden by Paul Flynn, has got... Boys returns at 14 to 1 and wins the Hennessy, a horse we're likely to see on the BBC throughout the winter. It's the 4 to 1 favourite for the Coral Europe at Welsh National and 20 to 1, one of the market leaders for the Martel Grand National. What's up, boy? Wins the Hennessy, the 14 to 1 winner. Second number four, Berejan at 8 to 1. Third number nine, take control at 6 to 1.